Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use a new Casio 570 EX calculator or to do this kind of questions by using the store storage function, which is STO or store function. All right, so basically let me explain about what is this store function first. Yeah, I guess a lot of you actually curious about uh, this red color letter above like all of these buttons. Do you see like A, B, C, D, E, F? And then you have X, Y, and M and so on. How are you going to use all these letter? So basically if I tap the shift recall, do you see a recall button here? Yeah, you can see right now, all of my value here is basically zero. Yeah, I can set X uh, into the zero if I want. Basically, you can store specific number into all these letter from A, B, C, D, E, F, and then X and Y. All right, M will be slightly different. I will explain about M in the future. But yeah, right now we maybe we only will use like A, B, C only. Okay, so I will teach you how to store first and then I will teach you how to use the store function in your exam. Alright, so this is what you need to do. So let's say I want to store like uh, 85 into my A here. I just type 85 and then I will just type store and then you don't need to type alpha A because when you type the store, right, this calculator actually understand you want to store into any of this letter. Then you can just type A here. Then you realize right now 85 already stored into the letter A. So if I do the shift, recall here, you realize my A already become 85. So you can do the same thing like 100, I want to store into B. I just tap store B here. And then if I do shift recall, and then you realize my A and B will have uh, any other number. So right now I will just like uh, change all of them back to the zero first. So B, I will do the same thing. All right. So I will just double check by do shift recall here. Okay, so if, if I have in the exam, if I have the question like this, I'm going to teach you how to solve uh, this kind of questions. So this is a regular polygon. Regular polygon means what? Each of the side will have the same length, isn't it? So therefore, uh, I want to know what is the interior angle because for regular polygon, each of the angle will be the same as well. So example, so let's say today I have the pentagon, uh, hexagon here. So if this is a regular hexagon, I know each of the angle must be 120 because we have a formula for regular interior angle of regular polygon, right? Which is n minus two times 180 and then divided by n. Yeah, by doing this one, you sub the six into here, you should be able to get 120 for each of the angle. But in this case, it's quite easy because we have a straight line here. This straight line, we know the total angle will be 180, right? So this one will be 150. So basically mean each of the angle will be 150. 150. But both of these angle, like angles A here and E here will be not the same, right? Because it's not the whole angle. It's actually like cut it, not exactly the half, but it cut it into the specific part here. So over here, I want to know like, uh, what is this uh, yellow color polygon? Then I calculate how many sides it have. One, two, three, four, five. So this one is a pentagon, but it's an irregular pentagon. So if I want to find the total angle of polygon, or uh, what I want to do right now is I just do n minus two times 180, that's all. So like pentagon, you just do like five minus two times 180. So which is 540. So I know the total angle will be 540, right? So what I want to do right now is, I know each of the angle is 150, right? Then I would store the 150 uh, into my A here. So I store into my A here because I do not know what is exactly both of this angle. So what I want to do right now is, I know the pentagon is 540, right? I just tell my calculator I want 540 minus three of my A right now. So I will do alpha A. So yeah, the calculator will tell me it's 90. So 90 I know is for both of these angles, isn't it? So I know each of the angle will be divided two, which is 45. Okay, then I can store the 45 into B if I want. I just do store B. Okay, then I know the whole angle here will be 150, isn't it? Then I just do the 150 minus uh, B here. Then the calculator will tell me, oh, the answer of X will be 105. 
for this function, it will be less useful because this example is quite easy, but it will be more useful when the questions uh, become more complicated. So I'm going to show you another example in this video. So let's say we have some ungrouped data. So if I can use the group data, it will be even better because it's more complicated. All right, so for this example, you have a number like one, two, four, five, seven. The question asks you to find the standard deviation of the data above. So what I want to do right now is I need to know like what is the formula for standard deviation here. So the formula for standard deviation, this is sign of standard deviation, will be square root of sum of x squared over n minus sum of x over n squared. Alright, so sum of x squared basically means square all these numbers and plus together. Sum of x basically just plus them without need to square it. So what I want to do right now is, in order to use a store function, right, I will just like do the sum of x squared and store it into the A. And sum of x I'm going to store it into the B. And then this uh, n equals to like how many number we have, n equals to 5. You want to store it in the C also can or you just do n equals to 5, it's fine. So what I want to do later, I will just do the square root because this one is stored as a, right? So it will be a over 5 minus this one will be b over 5 square. All right, then I should be able to get my uh, standard deviation value that way. All right, so what is sum of x square first? Sum of x square basically mean like all this number we're going to square it. 1 square plus 2 square plus 4 square plus 5 square plus 7 square. Right, and then sum of x basically means you plus all of this number without need to square it. Alright, so let's do sum of x square first. Like 1 square, 2 square, 4 square, plus 5 square, plus 7 square. I type enter, it's 95, right? I can straight away do store to a right now. Alright, then 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7. Oops, plus 5. 4 plus 5 plus 7. Right, then I tap enter and then I straight away can do store to B right now. Okay, so you can just like double check your store by doing the shift recall. Then you should have the value for A and B right now. Okay, then what I want to do is I will do the square root A, which is square root alpha A over 5 minus bracket b over 5 square close the bracket square all right then the calculator should tell me a very nice number here which is my standard deviation value is 2.1354 if i want to check this answer is correct or wrong yeah this calculator also provide you the statistic function which you go to menu which is you can go to the six here statistic go to one variable and then you just insert like the theta you have which is one two four five and seven okay then you can just go to the option go to one variable calculation number three and then you should have the standard deviation which is 2.1354 yeah which is exactly correct here all right so yeah i think this store function can use for any other questions if you want me to make a video uh for more complicated example yeah you can let me know all right so i hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher 
uh, provided by Shopee. And then this voucher is provided by Casio Malaysia. And then over here, you can insert the voucher code I provide, which is the Casio Mat. And then you just click on apply. I already apply, so you can see like five ringgit off, minimum spam of 70 ringgit. So after that, you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. If you have any question, feel free to post at the comment section below or else I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.